Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is Rob Balasavis. Today I'm going to show you how to schedule your Facebook live streams using StreamYard. I get a lot of questions and comments saying, Hey Rob, I would love to live stream, but I don't have anyone really showing up to my live stream. So this is one key way that I use to make sure that I get more people showing up to my live streams, schedule them ahead of time. And by scheduling them ahead of time, Facebook or YouTube, which also allows you to schedule your live streams ahead of time, it allows your viewers and the audience to RSVP or set a reminder for your upcoming live streams. And that allows Facebook and YouTube to then set a alert, send an alert to those people that have shown interest by clicking the get reminder button so that they show up to your live streams and that's how you get more people coming to your live streams regularly and of course you want to make sure that you're doing live streams regularly so that people know that you're showing up all right so today let's jump into my screen there you go and then that way i'm going to show you guys how i do this how i schedule the live streams using Streamyard. all right so first you're going to go into Streamyard, and again if you don't have a Streamyard account yet make sure you find the link down below in the description and you can get a 14 day free trial on any of the Streamyard plans. All right, amazing tool. It's my go-to tool for anything live streaming. I also use Streamyard to record my podcast and interviews as well. All right, so we're here in Streamyard. Once you've set it up, I've got some other videos to walk you through setting up your Streamyard account. But today we're gonna be scheduling a live stream into the Uscreen Facebook group. All right, it's called the, uh, the Uscreen Insider Facebook group. All right, so here we're in the broadcast uh, page. We're gonna click on get, uh, sorry, create a broadcast right here, okay? All right, once we're there, we're gonna select new broadcast. All right, so now you're gonna see a pop-up here and we're gonna be selecting the Uscreen Facebook group here. You'll see the Uscreen Insiders Facebook group. I've got other destinations here, the uh, Content Marketers Cafe, which is my Facebook group, my LinkedIn profile, my YouTube channel, and also the Uscreen YouTube channel as well. But this particular live stream that I'm scheduling is going to be going into the Uscreen Insiders Facebook group. So we're gonna click on that. And that's gonna open up some fields here. So we're gonna put in the title. So we're gonna put in uh, Uscreen, live i believe this is number zero zero seven and we're gonna put seo workshop with amir says 80 all right and now it's gonna ask for a description which i've already pre-written here and so i'm just gonna copy and paste it there it is and go into the description there's a description. And now we're gonna scroll down. It's gonna give you a couple options here. It's gonna say add comment instructions to my post. Yes, you do want that because this will actually add a little bit of a blurb. It's a short little blurb at the end of your description so that people know to turn on uh, access to their profile so that when they're commenting, you can bring their profile into the screen, their comments and profile into the screen. So you wanna check that. I always check that every single time, especially for Facebook groups because this particular Facebook group is private and so people do have to give that consent to put their profile on screen, okay? The next option here, if you scroll down, is schedule for later and yes, you do have to check that off. And once you do that, it gives you some additional options here, which is pretty cool, all right? So the next thing we have to do here is upload a thumbnail image. I'm gonna click on that. All right, there it is. Uscreen Facebook Workshop.png. Open. And there is Amir, my good friend. He's the head of search at Uscreen. So actually here, you can actually crop this if you want. Obviously, I don't need to because I've created this to the right dimension for Facebook events. Okay, click on apply. And down below there, you have it right there. So there's the thumbnail. And then the last thing that I'm needing, that I need, then the last thing that I need to uh, select here is the scheduled start time. So this is gonna be happening uh, next week. And I know the exact time here. So I'm just gonna put it down, 10 a.m. Pacific time on May 24th. And I am basically ready. So I'm gonna go and click. The last step here is click create broadcast. 
one last scroll just to make sure you never want this to go into the right uh the wrong destination so we've got the U screen insiders group there we've got the, the title and we've got the description we're looking good and we are all set with a thumbnail and also the start time all right so click create broadcast it's just going to take a few moments here as StreamYard is now sending all of this information over to Facebook. And so now we're going to go into the Facebook group. And you see at the bottom here, Rob Balasab has scheduled a live video to begin on May 24th, 10 a.m. See that at the bottom? I'm going to point to it if you guys did not see it right there. Okay. And so I'm going to refresh. This is the group that the live stream is going to be taking place in. And so I scroll down and you see my post right here, my scheduled live stream. And so remember earlier I said that little blurb that StreamYard will insert, it's right here. So it says, I'm going live with StreamYard. Before leaving a comment, grant StreamYard permission to see your name by clicking StreamYard.com slash Facebook. Okay. You also see here that there is the title, there is the description. There's the thumbnail, as you can see it right there. And there's also this button that I told you guys about, Get Reminder. And so you want people to be clicking the Get Reminder button. As many people as possible to be clicking that, because then that way, Facebook will notify them right before you go live that you're going live. And then that way, it'll you know funnel people to your live stream and get more live attendees. So I'm actually gonna click that myself. There you go. As a best practice, I do like to add a comment, just like on, on YouTube. So I do have a comment here that I'm basically going to copy and paste to get people to invite them to leave their questions for the live stream. So here we go. I'm gonna leave that comment right here. And there we are, all right? Perfect. So we are all set here. Uh, the last thing that I will do is inside of Facebook specifically, I go in and in a group, I will pin it to featured. All right. So pin featured. That way it gets a little bit of extra showcasing inside of the group and people can see it once they come in. All right. The other thing too, especially with Facebook is that you want a lot of engagement, even with the scheduled post scheduled live stream. And so that's why you want to get people to engage, drop their questions, give it a like, all of those things. You want all of that engagement so that it reaches more people before the live stream. And that's how you get more people showing up to the live stream once you are actually live. All right. So with that, hopefully that helps you understand how to schedule your live streams inside of Facebook. If you have any questions, of course, drop them into the comments here on YouTube. I want to answer as many questions as possible. And again, if you are not using StreamYard yet, go ahead and install it or set up your account for free, 14 days free trial on any of the paid plans. It's going to be the best thing that you do for yourself. It's the easiest way to go live on Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, Twitch, uh, anywhere you want to go live. You can also use it to go live inside of Uscreen as long as uh, you use Uscreen. <laughs> so uh, again, if you have any questions, drop them in the chat or in the comments, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.